For over the past two plus years, I've been eating a very strict carnivore diet. With the carnivore diet that I ate, I did everything from nose to tail, ketogenic carnivore, and also playing with some cyclical carb cycling with my carnivore diet. So I did all the different aspects of the carnivore diet style. I experimented a lot, I learned a lot, and it was a pretty profound experience for me over the past two years. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys three things that I think the carnivore diet is absolutely amazing for, and three things that the carnivore diet has a little bit of a challenge for certain people who try the carnivore diet. So basically, I'm gonna give you guys my two-year carnivore diet review. Stay tuned. What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. For those of you who don't know my skin disease story, I used to suffer greatly from eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, and rosacea. And during a huge long process, I figured out through diet, cleansing, and lifestyle how to heal and cure my skin. For the past eight years, I've been totally cured of skin disease and I've been sharing my wisdom, I've been coaching people, and I've been basically putting out information, helping people to do the same thing. I personally turned to the carnivore diet after being vegan for a pretty long time. Um, the plant-based, diet, the vegan diet, whole foods helped me heal my skin, but then it led to some other problems, hormonal issues, brain fog, messed up teeth, and my gut started getting bad again. So that's why I turned to the carnivore diet. So with that being said, here are the three major benefits and the three most amazing things I found personally and I found working with my clients who have been on the carnivore diet have experience. Number one, I unequivocally think that the carnivore diet 100% is a viable dietary intervention for healing the human body. When it comes to things like diabetes, obesity, skin disease, gut health disorders, hormonal issues, metabolic disease, depression, insulin resistance, obesity, and even just physical weakness. If you are suffering from one of those elements, one of those diseases, and you have not tried the carnivore diet, the carnivore diet has a chance of drastically improving your health in those areas or helping you totally overcome the diseases or the health issues that you are facing. For me personally, I was able to heal my teeth, which had really drastically decayed and become a major issue while being vegan. Number two, I was able to heal my gut health, which kind of got really bad. I was able to heal my hormonal system. My testosterone and my GH as a vegan got really dangerously low. And after two years on a carnivore diet, they're actually at the high levels of um, where they need to be and, and are really great. Mentally and emotionally, I had a huge, huge growth over the two years being carnivore diet. It helped me focus and get so much work done, be more articulate, be more communicative. Also, um, just my overall mood was more stable and more better compared to previous years. So as a healing diet, I think that the carnivore diet can work amazingly for a large variety of different people suffering. Number two, as you can imagine, a diet that's based around just eating animal products, it is super easy to follow. It's seriously, okay, what am I eating today? I'm gonna eat salmon, or I'm gonna eat eggs, or I'm gonna eat salmon and eggs, or I'm gonna eat some beef, or I'm gonna eat some chicken, or some beef and bacon and chicken. It's like food prep, super easy, cooking, super easy, going to the store to buy your groceries, super easy. It's very minimal and it's super easy to follow. Number three, and here's where some people will debate you, but if you take the time and you source your meat correctly, you can actually make a carnivore diet ultra, ultra cheap. Now, on the other hand, the carnivore diet, especially if you're eating nothing but filet mignon and lobsters can be the diet of the billionaires. But Ground beef, pastured eggs from local farms, ultra dirt cheap. I'm talking less than $10 a day if you really wanted to. So the carnivore diet is cheap. 
So those are three big major things. So overall, I think the carnivore diet is an awesome diet. And you know, the fact that it can help you heal your body, the fact that it's cheap and affordable and easy to do, make it pretty much good for a lot of different people in the population. Now, there are some challenges though. The, the carnivore diet isn't perfect for every single person. No diet is perfect for every single person. Every person has to take the time to test things, check in with their biomarkers and see if on an individual basis, foods and a food eating system is working for them. It's not going to work perfect for every single person. Um, and with that said, I want to talk about three things that are challenges that the carnivore diet could bring up for certain people. Challenge number one, what if you're a person that just isn't that into eating meat? Like you don't actually like the taste of steak or you're a person that's a little bit skeeved out by the little weird cross section inside of a chicken. And when you eat it, it's just disgusting to you. If you're a person that doesn't like the taste or the palatability of the carnivore diet isn't good for you, then obviously that diet is going to be a big struggle for you. If you're not a fan of taste of the taste of meat, you're not going to be a fan of the taste of the carnivore diet. It's meat only. Again, and, and number two is related to number one, where the carnivore diet for a ton of people works really good because it's a high fat, high protein, very low carb system, but not every single person thrives on a ketogenic or a, even just a simply high fat and high protein style diet. There is a lot of metabolic diversity. There's a lot of genetic diversity and there's a lot of gut biome diversity from person to person. And what I've found working with a ton of clients, what I've found even within myself is that each person has to recognize what their needs are and give themselves those needs or they will be screwed. If your needs are of needing a carb based system or more of a plant based system or something that's a little bit lower in the protein and the fats compared to the carnivore diet, then doing the carnivore diet may not work for you. Conversely though, that's why you would do the carnivore diet to test your biomarkers and to see if a high fat or a high protein system could work for you. So it's a negative, but it's also good information for those of you who are seeking to find a customized diet for yourself. Number three, and this one kind of relates to number one too. Another challenge that people on the carnivore diet face is that they simply, there's not enough food options, the palatability, you know, you might like the taste of meat, but maybe you're someone who is used to a ton of variety. You eat a lot of different types of foods and you like to combine different flavors and different textures so that your palate has a lot of variabilities and just feels great and feels wonderful. And that's what allows you to really take in the food. And that's what allows you to really take, take in the nutrients that you need and enjoy your eating process. If that's you, the carnivore diet is going to be ultra boring. It's going to be the taste of it's going to be really low. Luckily for me, I'm a minimalist, even with my diet. So I can get down on two or three different meals for months at a time and be totally happy. I have clients and I've worked with a lot of people who aren't like that. They actually need, and, and maybe it's a mental thing. Maybe it's an actual gut biome thing, but they need variety to stay consistent with the diet. And that's fine. If that's you, just understand that that's what you need and give yourself your that need. Um, the carnivore diet, the strict carnivore diet for people who do need a wider variety of palate choices may be extremely challenging, may actually be totally impossible. So my two year review for the carnivore diet is that overall the carnivore diet is one of the best overall dietary interventions for healing the body. I think that it's pretty easy to follow. I think that it can be super cheap. And I think that the proof is in both for me personally, um, both anecdotally throughout the community on um, websites like Meat RX and the Carnivore MD. We are all working with a lot of people and a lot of the people that are on the Carnivore diet are having absolutely amazing results. So I do think it's a viable diet. I do think if you're struggling, you should give it a try and see how it goes for you. But like anything, it's not for every single person. It's not a fix-all. It's not a cure-all. It's just one more tool. 
And so if you're on a personal healing journey, you gotta be really honest with its effects on your body. I suggest doing this by writing down your biomarkers in a journal and keeping very clean data so that you have something to fall back on at all times. So for those of you looking for the carnivore diet to give it a try, I say go for it. For me, I've been on it for 2.5 years. Overall, it's been absolutely amazing. But you might say that even though I'm a minimalist, I kind of fell into number three for the challenging department, the palatability and the nutrients. I like a little bit wider variety of food intake. That's why if you notice during my carnivore diet, I did still eat things like occasional fruit, some green drinks, some green tea, and I mixed it up and I had lots of different little minute refinements. In the next year, I'm going to be creating a whole different dietary system. It is not going to be a strict carnivore diet, but for me, what I found is that I do do really awesome on animal foods, fats, and proteins. So they will be a big part of my diet moving forward, but I am going to take advantage of other plant foods and other food systems. Um, and I'm excited to share with you guys where my new diet brings me. So you're going to have to stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Leave all of your comments and your questions down below. If you're looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, there's a link in the description box for a free consultation. Remember to subscribe. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you like the information. A lot of you guys have been asking about the three phases workbook, which is my step-by-step -step guide for creating a diet for yourself and healing your skin. That's also at holistichealthactivation.com. On the Instagram, you can find me as Stuart, Rob Stewart. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. Uh, also, one of the biggest game changers for my clients and myself over the past year has been Skinessa, which is the one and only skin focused probiotic. There's a link in the description box for that. Pick yourself up some, get your health moving in the right direction. Much love you guys. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.